हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मेरे इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज डायरेक्टर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोट टॉक अबाउट मारपुर रेगुलेशन 24 एंड 25 24 टॉक्स अबाउट द एज्यूम डैमेज एंड रेगुलेशन 25 टॉक अबाउट द हाइपोथेटिकल ऑयल फ्लो ऑफ ऑयल दिस टू वीडियो इज गोना बी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज़ दिस क्वेश्चन आर आस्क्ड इन एनयू क्लास एग्जामिनेशन so please tune till last i guarantee after watching the video you will have a clear concept that what do you mean by assumed damage and what do you mean by hypothetical oil flow what formula does it indicate friends marine engineering hub make the video like this which will be beneficial for your examination purpose so please do subscribe and please do share most of you watch the video plus don't subscribe please subscribe and provide us the encouragement friend marine engineering hub have started the membership if you want to join the exclusive perks you can join and watch the video which are yet to be released so let's start the today video of hypothetical outflow of oil so as you all know there are several type of damages which occur in the ship now this you can see this is a side damage which occur in the ship this is the bottom damage which occur due to the grounding and this is the aft damage is occur due to the sudden accident so as you can see many type of accident happen which lead to the these damages so marpol have made certain regulation regarding this so first talks about the regulation 24 what is assumed damage so in assumed damage it is said that they have taken two damages in consideration one is the side damage and one is the bottom damage so how much extent they have taken let's see so as per assumed damage the side damage is considered in longitudinal direction now whenever we are talking about damages in marble we take in three direction one is longitudinal second is transverse and the third is vertical so as you can see the three dimension is taken whenever you are talking about the damages whether it is side damages or it is the bottom damages so longitudinal so here longitudinal it mean to say this part okay this part and transverse it mean to say this part and vertical it mean to say this part so what it mean to say that if the damage is longitudinal we can say 1 by 3 l 2 by 3 or 14.5 so now we are talking about if you have damages side on the side of a ship if you suffer damages then how much is the allowance which is given so in longitudinal they have told 14.5 meter or 1 by 3 l 2 by 3 whichever is the less up it means that if we consider this as a box this part as a box like this so the extent of longitudinal is given 14.5 or 1 by 3 l 2 by 3 in case of transfer direction it means like in this direction in this direction in this direction it is given b by 5 or 11.5 now suppose if this is the breadth of a ship if this is the breadth of a ship okay now this is the breadth of a ship in that case you can take either this damage means this this side transfers damage this one this one you can take as how much this one you can take b by 5 okay so what i mean to say i mean to say that when you suffer transfer damage it can b by 5 or 11 by 5 whichever is and vertical it means that on this direction on this direction it can go to the unlimited so in regulation 24 side damage is considered three dimensional and the regulations are this now let's talk about the bottom damage so before giving you some synopsis some suppose this is a side plating okay so what we are talking about we are talking about how much this extent of damage this is the longitudinal how much this extent of damage this is transverse and how much this extent of damage this is vertical so these three direction of damage we are talking about the side damages okay now let's go to the bottom damage so now suppose the bottom damage now we are talking about this damage now if this damage occur what is the action so from four peak to the point 3l of the ship 
upon 4 p to 3 l of c there is one regulation and up after that there is other so if it occurs in longitudinal longitudinal homothexion l by 10 means whatever the length of c by 10 up for 4 p to the point 3 l of c after that it can be l by 10 or 5 meter whichever is the less transfer how much is, how much is given b by 6 or 10 meter whichever is the less but you, you cannot go minimum you have to give 5 meter here it is directly given 5 meter vertical extension b by 15 or 6 meter whichever is the less same for the this part so what we are talking about we are saying in the longitudinal direction means if the damage has occurred here so in the longitudinal direction in the longitudinal direction it can be l by 10 in the transfer direction means in the transverse direction like in this direction how much it can be it can be b by 6 or 10 meter in the vertical direction means in this direction how much it can be b by 5 or 6 meter so this resolution talks about bottom damage and side damage so here the longitudinal is this as i have told you transverse is this vertical is this same goes here what is the direct three damages one is the transverse is this vertical is this and longitudinal is this so this bottom damage this area is given l by 10 right and vertical is given 6 meter or b by 15 and this one is given how much b by 6 or 10 meter so this is how the damages regulation is been made now why this damage talking is important because whenever you are going to calculate the hypothetical oil flow you have to consider all this in consideration so what do you mean by hypothetical oil outflow of oil it means that if your ship suffer a side damage or a bottom damage then how much amount of oil will flow overboard that is calculated from the hypothetical oil flow so how it is calculated it is calculated based on the damages which damage when is side damage when is the bottom damage so this amount is given with a formula so one form of formula is that oc means side damage is considered as a oc so summation of w1 what is w1 so first let's see the nomenclature so l is the length of a tanker b is the breadth of a amid ship means if you can see this so this is the b okay after that hypothetical oil flow due to side damage oc oc os is for the bottom damage w1 is the volume of the wing tank now what is wing tank now this tank which is provided on the side shell plating are called wing tank so this is one type of wing tank c1 is the center tank now if you consider this configuration of shape so this is the wing tank this is the center tank and again this is the wing tank so this is you can say c okay this you can say w okay now after that k1 is talking about the damages j1 is talking about damages b1 is the minimum width of the each tank I mean what is the minimum width of each tank that is given in the interpretation between and h1 is the minimum depth of a db tank means what should be minimum depth of a db tank what is the minimum depth of the wing tank based on that the ship is constructed after that tc is the transverse extent of the side damage and vs is the vertical extent of the bottom dam so now we are talking about side damage so if suppose oc is a side damage is equal to summation of w1 w1 is what is the volume of each wing tank plus summation of k1 c1 so what here it is written that if you are doing carrying segregated ballast tank in that case the summation of wing tank will be zero why because the wing in a wing tank you are carrying segregated ballast tank you are not carrying any oil so normally in a double hull tanker what happened now this is a double hull tanker so this is the wing tank area so here in this area what used to happen this is the center tank two center tank is there and one is the two wing tank is there so as you can see here that we are carrying cargo here 
okay this is this is c and this is a w so what is happening so if you are carrying water segregated ballast tank in the wing tank in that case what will happen in that case what they are saying that you can consider this w to be zero because whenever damage side damage occur in that case water will first flow oil will not flow therefore the wing tank damage will not cause any oil flow of oil one more time i will tell you it is considered zero because whenever if any rupture happen in the wing tank the center tank where you are carrying the oil and you are not carrying the oil in the wing tank you are carrying water in the wing tank so water will outflow so there will be no pollution hence it is taken zero after that the c1 is the volume of the center tank breach okay now if you are carrying sbt so there is a one formula is given what formula is given now 1 by k1 is what formula 1 by b1 by tc what is tc tc is a transverse extent of damage means how much damage occur to you transverse extent so what extent of damage has occurred transverse way that is a tc okay that is a t c now after that minimum b1 is a minimum width of a wing tank now suppose this wing tank b this this is b okay so what they are saying now that if the breadth of this if b1 if this one is greater than the damage means if the extent of damage is less than the breadth of a ship in that case what will happen the damage will not reach to the center tank as the damage will not reach the center tank there will not be any oil pollution so the k1 can be considered as a zero so hence the whole thing become zero one more time i will tell you what is happening oc is the side damage w1 is the summation of the volume of a wing tank but if you are carrying segregated ballast tank in that case what will happen the this thing will be considered zero okay now what will happen they are saying that if the transverse extent this k1 is the constant we talk about the formula 1 minus b1 by tc so b1 is the breadth of the wing tank if b1 is the breadth of a wing tank and if tc is the transverse extent in that is what will happen if the tc is less it means the damage which is done to the side is less than the breadth of the ship in that case what will happen the oil will not come out because the damage has occurred till this place only but if the tc means the transverse extent is this much so in that is what will happen it is tc is more than the b if tc is more than the b in that case k1 will not be zero then you will get some value because then some oil flow of oil will happen so in the first scenario when the damage is less than the breadth of the ship then k1 become zero but in the second scenario here if the damage is more than the breadth of the ship in that case outflow of oil will occur so then you have to then you find a side damage so in a double hull tanker what happen in a double hull tanker basically this k1 become zero if the transfer extent is less than than the breadth of a ship but if it is more then you will have to calculate this part of the formula this part will only come into action when you are considering for a single hull tanker for double hull it will become zero because in double hull we in double hull space you are taking s b t segregated ballast tank so now let's go to the bottom damage so as you can see this is the bottom damage os so 1 by 3 e z1 z1 is what is a minimum depth of a dv tank so suppose this is a depth of a dv tank which is considered as h okay and vertical damage now suppose if a ship has suffer grounding and this is the extent of vertical damage that is v okay so suppose this is h and this is a v this is a v and this is a h so this damage which is occur vertically if this distance if vertical damage is less than the double bottom height in that case no outflow of oil will occur 
what I mean to say means if the grounding is such that it unable to pierce the DB tank and go to the center tank in that case what will happen the it will be there will be no oil pollution so what they are saying that Z1 can be considered as zero if the height of the double bottom is more than the vertical damage but if the vertical damage is such that it pierces the height of the DB tank and go to the center tank this is the center tank as I told you so in that case what will happen oil will come out so in that case the pollution can occur so if it's second scenario then Z1 will not be zero Z1 will not be zero so let's see one small formula so they are saying E Z1 by W1 W1 is what volume of each wing tank bridge after that C1 is what that how much the center tank is based so whenever a damage from the bottom is occurring it can occur to both center tank and wing tank it can occur both to center tank and wing tank so both are taken in consideration but when the bottom damage is happening it can only causes the outflow of oil when it is able to pierce the double bottom so it means that the in order to outflow of oil to happen it should able to pierce the double bottom then only it can happen so then only you can get the value of Z1 so you can get a value of Z1 only when this H is less than the vertical damage okay other in otherwise it will be zero so that is based on that we calculate how much outflow of oil will occur so friend in today's video if you have learned what is assumed damage and what is the hypothetical oil flow damage then please do subscribe if you have watched it till now i understand you want to clear the exam swiftly and very fast so please do join the membership i guarantee you will get lot of benefit thank you friend